QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021 Tax Line Mapping Tax Adjustment for Charitable Contributions. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in the Test Tax Mapping QuickBooks file. In prior presentations, we took the information from here, exported it directly into tax software as well as to Excel, exporting it to the tax software of Lacert, tax software owned by Intuit, Intuit who also owns QuickBooks. We then exported it to Excel so we can do the reconciliation between what is being generated within the tax software and uh, what is on the book basis or within the QuickBooks system. In other words, here within QuickBooks, we're at the 100,000. Within QuickBooks, when we export it to the uh, system in taxes, the tax system, we had the 116,582 and we had to reconcile the two. Now, there's a couple ways you could do that. You could just basically print the profit and loss and write the reconciliation adjustments below it or you could do a f more formal worksheet to see that reconciliation process something that would look like this that we have been doing thus far we've reconciled basically our net income down here to the 116 582 that now tying out to what we have on the profit and loss however we still have one item that we're going to adjust and there could be other things i'm not saying this tax return is perfect but we've got one other thing that we want to take a look at that uh, is is we put in this other expenses and that was something that uh, was contributions or charitable contributions and if we go to the trial balance to see where that was posted to if i go to the tax line items we have these charitable contributions and uh how much where where are those those are right here they're mapped into other expenses they got mapped and we actually added it to other expenses so that we can then see it and the, and the idea of putting it there was so that we can basically reconcile as close as possible on the tax return so that then we can make any adjustments we need so i put this basically mapped it into the system and now i'm going to make an adjustment to remove it from there to make a, a tax adjustment and that would be closer to my normal kind of thought process which is you know when i put it into into the tax system i'd like to tie out first to the one hundred thousand, and then basically back out any adjustments so i so i can figure out kind of what the difference should be on a tax basis purpose so this is mapped out there we're basically going to remove it then so on the tax form they're included right here in uh, line 27 for the twenty-seven thousand other expenses which has detail in part two or page two of the schedule c there's the charitable contributions i'm basically basically going to remove that now so what i'd like to do i'm going to do this first in excel this time i'm going to say all right these charitable contributions basically need to go away because typically charitable contributions won't be there on a schedule c if they are deductible they would have to go like an itemized deduction typically that's the general rule so i'm going to say okay we got to remove that i'm going to, we've determined we need to remove that so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to say this needs to be a uh, de uh i'm going to credit it so i'm going to put the credit on top again because that's the one that i'm focusing in on so i'm going to say credit that and then the other side again we could say well if charitable contributions shouldn't be on this return maybe it should be draws or something like that so that it was taken out from the business side not as a deduction and then possibly deducted on the personal side it's a personal expense that may be deductible on schedule a not a business expense you could think about it that way or you could put it down here and do the same kind of process we did down here i'm going to do this i'm going to say add another account insert and so then i'm going to copy the formatting above and go to the format painter and copy that down and then this is going to be the uh, charitable contributions that adjustment and let's put i'll put adj charitable contributions so it's not the same account and then i'm going to go back up top and say this is the adjustment for the charitable contributions and there we have it and then this is going to be the debit of that so then I'm going to I'm going to record that down below. So uh, if I say charitable contributions should go down to zero, let's do that first. I'm going to make this go to zero with the credit, bringing it down to zero. So we've removed it there. Then I'm going to put the other side down here, just on the bottom. This will be equal to the 8,000 and enter on the debit side. We just moved it down below. And then I'm going to check my totals here. This total looks good this total looks off it's not adding the last number so i'm just going to drag it down and see that it does this one uh is is not totaling up and the eight thousand is not pulling over see there's no amount here so i'm going to pull this down 
and say there it is now it's pulling across we got our green zeros at the bottom let's check these totals this total could go all the way down doesn't really matter because it's going to be zero on this side these two should stop at the yellow accounts because they are not included in the bottom portion so that looks good so now we think the total should be 124,582. so now we're leading with this item and the tax return is wrong so if i go to the tax return i want to get, remove that 8,000. now there's a couple ways we might think about doing this i could just go manually into the data input and i could say let's go to the data input and say schedule c and then scroll down to our data input down here and other and i can either delete that or i can put an adjustment adj charitable contributions and i think it's spelled wrong up there and i'm just going to put a negative 8000 to remove it that way that way every because if i delete it here notice and i don't delete like the category it's still going to pull over from the trial balance if i put an adjusting entry then even if it pulls over again it'll still negate itself it's still reverse out so i'm going to say okay and then if i go up to the trial balance uh or i'm sorry to the uh to the tax return there it is if i go back to page one then now my net income is 124,582. does that tie out to here one 124,582. so that looks good that's one method that you can do you can also say well can't i do the adjustments over here on the trial balance let's take a look at the trial balance and see if we would have been able to adjust it there so there's a couple things we could do here we i mean we could just say like i could just go to the tax line item here and then on that charitable contributions i'm going to say hey look let's just unmap it so so i so i'm just going to remove the mapping for it so it's an other right there maybe i just go in here and i unmap it right that's one way we can do it notice if i if i go to the trial balance on this side like you might say well wait, i'd like to do like adjusting entries so i can reconcile this 100,000 to what's on the tax return as we did basically down here with these reconciling items and and i could i could do an adjusting entry to kind of uh remove it and put it put it down put it down below so i can remove it and then put it down into another account down here called adjusting entries and not and then not map the adjusting entries anywhere and that would help to, for me to kind of see the adjustments in a similar way that we have over here but it doesn't work for everything because we're, ne we're, we're not going to get that reconciliation process from this worksheet unless we didn't map out like the home the home use of the of, of these items right because these are calculating for us and if we if we didn't do something like didn't let it do its own calculation for meals and entertainment if we forced meals and entertainment to be the full amount then we can do our own just adjustments in the trial balance and we can use the trial balance in here to reconcile but since we're using like these accounts in the data input field to help us by you know quotes help us <laughs> by doing this 50 percent calculation for us here and then in this home office calculations we can't do the reconciliation if we do it that way we can't do the reconciliation you know in this in this software and you have to do it some other way so i would think the easy the other way you would want to do it is then once i figure this out I've, i mapped it over there so that i can reconcile once i reconcile then i can remove it and it might be easier to remove it this way by going to charitable contributions and then i'll remove it in the data input field here so then when i go back to assert i'll, re I'll remove that 8000 that i had that i had included and we're and we're left with the with the other uh expenses that it just is going to be including then if i scroll down to the bottom we had the uh bad debt and then the other expenses of the 9000 that are left and so if i go back on up to page 1 and it, and we tie it out then we're at the bottom line 124582 does that tie out to what is here 124 582 so again you can kind of use the excel sheet i still think some type of external uh reconciliation form i think excel would be best is going to be necessary uh to reconcile between the the book and the tax